पार्टिसिपेंट प्लीज रीड द बायोटा यस सर यस मैडम हेलो सर आवाज देते सर हेलो ये तो आवाज ये तो मैडम डॉक्टर वर्षा एस कुमार इज प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन यूजीसी एम एम टी टी सी ऑफ संत गाड़गे बाबा अमरावती Amravati since last 12 years she has completed her MSc in microbiology with distinction she has also completed her MSc in environmental science she has completed her PhD 2004 in environmental science from Shivaji in Kolhapur she has qualified say 2004 area of research includes environment microbiology environment science and soft skills she has worked as a lecturer in pg department of environment science of shivaji university and mumbai university at sub center ratnagiri she has total teaching experience of 18 years at pg level research experience of 13 years along with administrative experience she has designed plan planned uh, planner and and coordinator many long term national level training programs for teaching faculty in higher education institutions she has also planned and coordinated soft skills training programs more than 1600 teach teacher participants are benefited through the, these various program in various areas like life science environmental science soft skills higher education etc she has delivered lectures as a resource person in refresher refresher orientation and fip programs organized by other institutions on various topic like higher education environment science and soft skills she has written 20 episodes for all india radio under environment related program sabhat ali which were broadcasted by all india radio kolapur she has carried out drinking water consultancy when she was in shivaji university kolhapur she has passed with distinction yoga pravesh examination and indian classical music examination and gandharva mahavidyalaya for instrumental music she has participated her poems is all india national poetry association she has received I iconic women award 2020 by GSBAS Mumbai. Thank you very much, ma'am. Upon या ठिकाने अमला guidance करने से आले लाहा तो orientation class में दे. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, madam. Uh, Saroj, madam, I think. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Am I, am I audible, madam? Am I audible? Am yes, ma'am. Thank you. Am I audible? Mother, yes, yes. ये तो ये तो ma'am ये तो ये तो. Okay, okay. so before moving further first of all good morning to one and all and uh, here i would like to express my sincere thanks to director of ugc malviya mission teacher training center of uh, dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university chhatrapati sambhaji nagar from maharashtra and uh, course coordinator dr mohammad uh, rafi sir for Giving me this wonderful opportunity 
to interact uh, with uh, more about i think 39 participants across india so once again uh, sincere thanks to director of ugc mmttc of the uh, dr baba sahab ambedkar maratwada university chatrapati sambhaji nagar and uh, course coordinator dr mohammad rafi sir here i would like to welcome you all all teacher participants across india who are present in this particular zoom meeting and those who are uh, now attending uh, this faculty induction program 11th faculty induction program of your, of the center now before moving further as a warm up as you know even for doing any uh, physical exercise we always used to have a warm up right so i'll be happy if you can put on your videos so that i can see you at least on the screens in virtual mode right all our teachers all our teachers right all our teachers or from any other uh, sector if somebody is present here so all our teacher ma'am all our teacher okay before moving i would like to know that whether some out of state participants are attending this program or not out of state maharashtra ke i am from karnataka ma'am ha ha ma'am ma'am ma doctor i am from karnataka ma'am oh so you only understanding me right i am from bihar ma'am english hindi is comfortable ma'am okay hindi english hindi english or yes, hindi english Yes, Hindi yes. English, ma'am. Both, both language. Okay, okay. For me, I am from uh, 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 I am from Maharashtra, okay. Ahmednagar. Oh yes, yes. I, actually, I think uh, from Maharashtra, majority participants they belong to Maharashtra. Only few will be from out of Maharashtra state. Uh, I am from Bihar, ma'am. Okay, nice to meet you. those who are attending from other regions out of maharashtra regions can i uh, can i have a, a good name of uh, madam roll number 2 uh, yes ma'am uh, huh? this is roshni kharat roshni kharat madam aap kahan se ho uh, madam i am from mumbai uh, from mumbai university i am from uh, b ed college hb b ed college okay 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 so uh, roll number 4 madam can you please tell me your good name and uh, good morning ma'am uh, dr sukeshini janra from solapur from solapur solapur do you remember we have talked many times oh, yes yes ma'am yes uh, and finally you are here you met me here right <laughs> yeah ma'am yeah yeah dekho abhi jinke naseeb mein milna hota hai virtually wo kisi aur center se center ke madhyam se bhi mil sakte hai na so nice to meet you chalo koi to pehchan wale nikle ek to madam nikle jaan raha hu madam okay ha abhi abhi aap log dekhiye see the difference abhi do logon ke sath to kam se kam i can see the em virtual to kaise lag raha hai aapko how do you feel sir aap bata sakte hai roll number 14 sir ne to camera off kar diya chalo ko bol denge sochenge sir hey madam मैडम 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 आई एम प्रोफेसर चंद्रकांत देसाई फ्रॉम राधाबाई काळे महिला महाविद्यालय अहमदनगर अच्छा सर आपकी सब्जेक्ट कौन सा है व्हिच सब्जेक्ट यू आर टीचिंग एट योर कॉलेज इंग्लिश इंग्लिश सीनियर इंग्लिश गुड 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 वेरी गुड अभी सभी लोग तो नहीं दिख रहे मुझे सिर्फ तीन लोग दिख रहे चलो कोई बात नहीं है और लोग अगर इफ दे विल पुट ऑन देयर वीडियोस आई विल बी मोर हैप्पी Yes, sir. Roll number twenty, please. Can you please introduce me? Can you tell me your good name, sir? Please uh, unmute yourself. Ah, yeah, nam uh, namaskar, madam. Namaskar. Namaskar, namaskar. Bola. Madam, for uh, Doctor Sharad Borade, for Tour, Jilla Jalna. Jalna. Acha, sir. Subject. Which subject? Uh, Marathi, madam. Marathi. मराठी हाँ हाँ वेरी गुड मातृभाषा है ना हाँ 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 तो अभी चार पांच लोगों के साथ तो बात हो गई 
during three hours because more than two hours will be in this particular virtual meeting. So there should not be a monologue. ऐसा तो नहीं होना चाहिए कि कोई एक बात कर रहा है बाकी सब लोग छुपे हुए हैं है ना कैमरा के पीछे ये तो होगा नहीं तो बीच बीच में I expect your interaction है ना अभी आप लोग जब पढ़ाते हो ना अगर सामने स्टूडेंट्स नहीं रहेंगे तो कैन यू इमेजिन हाउ डू यू फील आपको कैसे लगेगा सपोज सब आगे सब बेंचर सरोज मैडम बोर लगेगा मैडम सब होना चाहिए क्लास में हेलो प्लीज म्यूट यूर सू यस यस नहीं अभी अगर सपोज इफ एनी टीचर दुनिया में जितने टीचर्स है ना फर्गेट अबाउट द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ कंट्रीज एंड रीजन फर्गेट दैट कंसिडर ओनली वन कैटेगरी दैट इज ऑफ टीचर्स है ना तो उसमें सभी आ गए स्कूल टीचर्स आ गए हायर एजुकेशन वाले आ गए एवरी टीचर तो अगर सपोज किसी को एक को भी क्लास में अलाउड किया जाने के लिए इफ वी विल रिक्वेस्ट हिम और हर दैट you deliver a session for 2 hours in front of benches in front of walls and boards how do he or she will feel hai na to wohi paristhiti agar meri nahi honi chahiye aise agar aapko lag raha hai to aap kam se kam thoda sa apna camera bhi on kijiye aur thodi thodi beech mein hum log interaction bhi karenge so with this hope i would like to move further so before that you please tell me whether my ppt is visible to you or not is it visible yes, yes. yes. Oh, yes. thank you thank you so much now hum log aage badhenge if there will be any doubt or query in your mind we will discuss that at the end of the session okay you can note it down in your notebook and at the end of the session for 10 minutes the session will be open for discussion and your inputs so let me i would like to welcome you this is a picture can you see the greenery aap dekh sakte ho yes madam yes ha ah, ye chikhal dara ki region ka hi hai so greenery means whenever we are talking about anything about environment the first picture always come in our vision in our mind in front of our even closed eyes it is the greenery sometimes water and then comes the bioforms so let us start the journey of environment i'll be dealing today this is not a lecture i'll be dealing with few aspects of environment and health right may include the first aspect will be environmental health the second will be environment and health and the last will be the water sanitation connection with sustainable development so this is the outline of the today's discussion or presentation let me uh, just uh, repeat environmental health environment and health water sanitation and the focus will be on sustainable development this is a outline of the presentation this is a declaration some of the contents and images included in this presentation has been downloaded from the internet purely for the educational purpose the copyright lies with the respective owners objective of the session what is your objective your objective is to get the certificate for cas right ye to hona hi chahiye ye objective to bahut hi important abhi ek hi sir mujhe dikh rahe roll number 20 sir dikh rahe bas baki sabhi log shayad hai ya nahi acha chalo sir hum log baat karenge koi baat nahi to एक ऑब्जेक्टिव तो अपना रहता ही है क्योंकि टू गेट द सर्टिफिकेट है ना इतने वन मंथ का इतना लंबा कोर्स है ये एफ आई पी इज द लॉन्गेस्ट प्रोग्राम तो इतना लंबा कोर्स अटेंड कर रहे हैं एवरी डे तो सर्टिफिकेट तो मिलना ही चाहिए ये एक बात हो गई और दैट इज फॉर कैश 
and my best wishes to all of you for your cash promotion you will get it definitely but agar uske sath sath koi dusra bhi objective apne mind mein rahega and it will run parallel ek sath agar wo marathi mein bolte hai aapko pata hai na ek adagda don pakshi sometimes teen pakshi sometimes char pakshi hai na agar aise hota hai then it is good na अच्छा है कि नहीं तो मेरा पर्पज ऑब्जेक्टिव तो बहुत ही क्लियर है इट इज पर्पज ऑफ माई टॉक इज नॉट टू टीच एनी बडी बट टू मेक एवरी बडी टू थिंक आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू इंड्यूस यूर माइंड टू थिंक ऑफकोर्स अबाउट अवर एनवायरमेंट सो बींग एन एनवायरमेंटलिस्ट आई हैव अ वेरी क्लोज कंसर्न दैट आफ्टर द सेशन ऑल ऑफ अस वी शुड बी एबल टू थिंक एंड बींग टीचर्स वी शुड बी एबल टू कंक्लूड फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट environmental health and the environmental issues so at the end of the session what are the expectations awareness about relevance of environmental status and your or public health at local area now see this particular word your and public health here i mean to say that the first important or you know preferred thing is always the health of that individual everybody has a very uh, you know caring approach must have very caring approach about his or her own health but here we have written one more word and that is a public health health of an individual health of an uh, community and then health of public means public health approach at local area so public health you can uh, think at different levels one will be at the local level another will be maybe at the uh, you know state level you can just increase the levels and finally you can think of entire globe as such pure vishw ka bhi jaise bolte hain na maharashtra ke log jo hai unko pata hai jaise hamare gnaneshwar maulya ne bola tha ki pure vishw ke logon ke liye unhone manga tha na तो अपना अप्रोच भी ऐसे ही होना चाहिए इट शुड बी एट द ग्लोबल लेवल सो वेन एवर वी आर टॉकिंग और थिंकिंग अबाउट हेल्थ वी शुड स्टार्ट ऑफ कोर्स फ्रॉम द इंडिविजुअल पर्सन एंड वी शुड रीच स्लोली स्टेप बाय स्टेप एंड द फाइनल टारगेट विल बी ऑलवेज अ पब्लिक हेल्थ एट द ग्लोबल लेवल सो दिस शुड बी द अचीवमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन एंड the very important another part of this particular session is what should be a teacher can do a role of a teacher in environment and health maintenance so that again at the end i will be showing you few slides what exactly we can do as a teacher so one again once again a very nice picture you can see a small uh, you know uh, water uh, that is flowing in the form of or rather a flow like a flow it is a short or very uh, you know little type of uh, this thing water flow mostly observed in case of or in rainy season now just divert towards the health concept okay this particular topic will be having two sides of the coin one is health and another is environment first of all i would like to focus on the health approach so what is the one health concept which has been stated by world health organization who it recognizes that the health of humans domestic wild animals plants and the wider environment including all ecosystems are closely linked and interdependent see try to understand the concept what is one health concept it recognizes that health of humans domestic and wild animals plants and the wider environment including ecosystems are closely linked and interdependent means who k anusar health whenever you are thinking about health you should not consider health of only human beings okay because domestic and wild animals plants and the wider environment including ecosystems means right from the living organisms a very minute living organism that is 
a community of microorganisms present in all ecosystems up to the higher animal is it is considered as a human being so dekhi approach kaisa hai these are closely linked and interdependent interdependent means dependent on each and other माइक्रोऑर्गेनिज्म से लेके ह्यूमन बींग्स तक अभी ये कितना ब्रॉड रेंज हो गई ना ये दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी वाइडर जोन अगर आप अपने आंखों के सामने Is it visible screen? No, ma'am. No. Some some technical problem was there. Now you tell me. Yes, visible, visible, madam. Visible, no. Which slide? Yes. It was slide number five. Yes. One health concept. Okay. So I will keep uh, the slides like this only. Can you read? Can you read it? Yes, yes. Okay. I will not make slide show because some uh, glitch was there, technical glitch was there, and we will move accordingly. And meanwhile, suppose if I will face a bandwidth problem, I will put my video even off. You please be uh, keep it, keep on telling me about uh, voice and uh, presentation. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. So once again, uh, please try to imagine in front of your eyes uh, any ecosystem where, right from microorganism, you can see the chain of all these living organisms present in a particular environment, including plants, animals, um, and human beings. These all, or help of these all, it is interdependent on each other, and it is. closely linked even that means on the planet itself now again uh, every time uh, you have to imagine a uh, different range right from individual local area and accordingly just a moment give me one
हेलो सर एक मिनट सर एक मिनट हाँ थोड़ा सा उस पीपीटी से थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम है मैं सॉल्व कर दिया मैं एक दोन मिनट दिया प्लीज सर इज इट विजिबल सर सर यस यस मैम नाउ इज इज इट विजिबल यस मैम स्लाइड स्लाइड यस यस ओके ओके थैंक यू ओके so uh, we were talking about uh, ecosystems and zones now as you know roughly 4.5 billion years old is our earth and it is a third planet orbiting around the sun and this is the only planet in our solar system to have surface liquid water and therefore it is the only home to the uh, life in the universe this this much we know now right from earth then we are launching to the linking interlinking we had just discussed about one health concept then environment and people now you can see these two arrows number one is the environment affects the people means from people to the environment another is showing from environment to the people so being this approach the entire thing it is interlinked how people or activities of man these are affecting environment it includes in short it has written of course later on it will be elaborated climate availability of water availability of shelter and soil conditioning or soil quality for the plant group then people also affect the environment for the wood to get the wood and flushing waste into the rivers so if you will just if you will just starting noting down the things that are affecting to the environment because of our activities and secondly the things of the environment after changing which can affect on our health now let us see in broad what are the types of the environment soil environment water environment air environment social environment cultural environment and in addition to these broad types there are 
sometimes we have to consider two more types of environment one is internal environment another is external environment what are the segments of the environment environmental segments include atmosphere lithosphere biosphere and hydrosphere of course atmosphere consists of air air environment lithosphere in this is for to understand at a uh, for a common people you can say or for the teachers those who have different subject background other than science people lithosphere here in very simple language we can consider about it is everything about the land biosphere including everything about the all types of living organisms hydrosphere water environment or all types of uh, water environmental biofilms then comes what is the need and importance of environmental studies or environmental science studies it is to create awareness among the people to understand the ecological balance to know the natural resources and their utilization and to know the current environmental problems this is people awareness is very important unless and until there will be awareness there will not be any action and unless and until there will be action there will not be any uh, improvement in the quality of the environment abhi agar aise hi chalta raha so it is possible that after few years we will not be able to we will not be in a position to get the oxygen from the air freely water in uh, at a very low cost nowadays we are getting all these all these things freely right but the time will come that we will not be getting this free without paying the cost this time if we think that the such a time should not arise for the next generations we have to create the awareness and we have to take the action for the environmental quality improvement to understand the ecological balance we are using natural resources at such a fast speed we are not thinking about the ecosystems the balance of the ecology and what will happen uh, because of such a vast use so that understanding should be there understanding will come after getting a knowledge after creating an awareness third is to know the natural resources and their utilization just now i had told you because this natural resource utilization and natural resource utilization um and the quantity of different natural resources it is very important because suppose if we go on using it it may rather it is it is creating imbalance in different ecosystems if there will be collapse of the ecosystems entire particular area will get collapsed and that's why we have to be very careful by using the natural resources and the last but important is to know the current environmental problems and their solutions environmental problems you have to think here at four levels number one local level state level national level world level what are the problems of course the problems uh, are similar up to certain extent jaise ki agar kisi ne bataya to hum log bolenge ke kya hai environmental problems kon kon se hai तो हम लोग जल्दी से बोल देंगे वाटर पोल्यूशन है एयर पोल्यूशन है सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट है लैंड पोल्यूशन है ये सब प्रॉब्लम्स ऑल दीज प्रॉब्लम्स आर एग्जिस्टिंग एट एवरीवेयर इन एवरी स्टेट इन एवरी कंट्री एट द ग्लोब राइट बट द सीवियरिटी द स्टेटस द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ दीज प्रॉब्लम एट वेरियस लेवल्स इट इज डिफरेंट and then we have to jump on to the solutions because instead of discussing problems every time it is always better to focus on the solutions healthier environments could prevent almost one quarter of the global burden of diseases the covid 19 pandemic 
is a further reminder of the delicate relationship between people and our planet. Just before few minutes, I told you that in the One Health uh, concept, under that particular point, that the every animal, every living organism, from every ecosystem, from every environment, these are interdependent, these are linked together, right? And COVID-19 pandemic, which we have experienced at the world level, it was a pandemic. तो उसमें हमने सभी ये देखा है ना अभी कि कैसे एनिमल से वायरसेस ट्रांसफर हो जाते हैं कैसे ह्यूमन बींग्स से एनिमल की तरफ ट्रांसफर होते हैं कैसे एयर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दैट कैसे वाटर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दैट दैट मीन्स यू कैन नॉट सेपरेट यूअर सन हम कोई भी अपने को ऐसे अलग से नहीं रख सकते फ्रॉम एनी एनवायरमेंट तो हेल्थियर एनवायरमेंट अगर रखना है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिवेंट If you want to maintain healthier environments, you have to consider all together, and you have to work for every living organism. Then clean air, stable climate, adequate water, sanitation and hygiene, safe use of chemicals, protection from radiations, healthy and safe workplaces, sound agricultural practices, health supportive cities, and built environments, and a preserved nature, all are. Prerequisites for good health. WHO report के अनुसार, which are the prerequisites of good health? Good health at the individual level, at the community level, at the public health. If you want to maintain a good health, you must have these prerequisites, which are these: clean air, stable climate. Which is almost impossible nowadays. Are you experiencing the changes in the climate? आप सभी लोग experience कर रहे हो climate changes क्या क्या हो रहे हैं आजकल? Yes, ma'am. जैसे कभी भी बारिश होती है, कभी भी temperature increases, any time temperature decreases, and we are facing expose, we are exposing to different kinds of pathogens. वायरसेस अभी मॉस्किटो का भी देख लिया आप लोग मॉस्किटो का एक सीजन रहते रहता था इनिशियली जैसे विंटर और समर के एट द एंड ऑफ द विंटर एंड जस्ट बिफोर बिगिनिंग ऑफ द समर मॉस्किटो पॉपुलेशन यूज टू इंक्रीज उनकी पॉपुलेशन बढ़ती थी लेकिन अब कैसे हो रहा है बिंग देर इज राइज एंड राइज एंड फॉल इन द टेम्परेचर जैसे टेम्परेचर थोड़ा सा राइज होता है पॉपुलेशन बढ़ती है मॉस्किटो की सो दैट मलेरिया यू नो नॉट रिमेन अ सीजनल डिसीज है ना यू कैन एक्सपीरियंस द डिसीज थ्रू आउट द ईयर इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द सीजन सो दैट हैपेंस देन एडिक्वेट वाटर वाटर का जो लेवल है फ्रेश वाटर ट्रीटेड वाटर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर नाउ अवेलेबिलिटी इज रिड्यूसिंग Because population is increasing, water demand is increasing, और water का raining raining थोड़ा कम हो रहा है किसी और it is not uniform कभी कहीं ज़्यादा है कभी कम है कहीं कम है कहीं ज़्यादा है so there is no uniformity कोई भी average नहीं है raining का और water के जो sources है हम लोगों ने बहुत कुछ use कर लिया now whatever has been given it is not adequate then sanitation and hygiene ये तो इंडिविजुअल लेवल पे भी है कम्युनिटी लेवल पे भी है और फैमिली लेवल पे भी है सेफ यूज ऑफ केमिकल्स वी आर नाउ एज यूजिंग एन नंबर ऑफ केमिकल्स हम लोग नेल पेंट यूज कर रहे हैं कॉस्मेटिक्स यूज कर रहे हैं राइट फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग हम लोग जब उठते हैं उठते ही हम लोग द फर्स्ट केमिकल वी आर यूजिंग ऑलवेज इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सोप एंड टूथपेस्ट देन वेरियस काइंड ऑफ कॉस्मेटिक्स All these are chemicals, and we are exposing to these chemicals. Then protection from radiation. हम लोग बाहर निकलते हैं, radiation का exposure हो जाता है. Healthy and safe workplaces. Workplace के यहाँ पे भी there are many occupational hazards, and we are exposing to them. Then agricultural practices are not sound. Means what? Maximum use of you know fertilizers and pesticides. And why the farmers have to use maximum fertilizers, maximum pesticides? It is to increase the crop yield. And why they need increased crop yield? Because to 
supply the food to the people and why it is demanding the demand is increasing day by day because the population rises much more rising always rising health supportive cities and built environments built environments means jahan pe greenery jyada hai jahan pe plantation ho chuka hai jahan pe uh, environment friendly practices are adopted jahan pe eco friendly uh, in life has been adopted that is the built and environment in health supportive cities and a preserved na nature jahan pe nature ko preserve kiya hai all it is called as prerequisites or the things that are essential for good health climate change is impacting human lives and health in a variety of ways it threatens the essential ingredients of good health like clean air safe drinking water nutritious food supply safe shelter and it has the potential to undermine decades of progress in the global health between 2030 and 2050 climate change is expected to cause approximately 250000 additional deaths per year from malnutrition malaria diarrhea and heat stress alone the direct damage caused to health is estimated to be between 2 to 4 billion us dollars per year by 2030 so this is this is the estimate given by who uh, in between the period they have considered that is proposed period in between 2030 to 2050 where climate change ki wajah se sir 2 lakh se bhi zyada mortality rate number of deaths per year it will increase up to 2 lakh 50000 right और उसका उन्होंने कॉस्ट भी एस्टिमेशन किया है टू टू फोर बिलियन डॉलर्स पर ईयर एंड व्हाट विल व्हाट विल बी द मेन कॉजेस माल न्यूट्रिशन मलेरिया डायरिया एंड हीट स्ट्रेस जैसे मैंने अभी बताया ना आपको मलेरिया सीजनल था अभी तो पूरा पेरिनियल हो गया डायरिया इट इंडिकेट्स यू नो क्वालिटी ऑफ वाटर विच इज नॉट ड्रिंकेबल और पोर्टेबल एंड हीट स्ट्रेस हिट स्ट्रेस but it has a direct connection with the uh, increased temperature or change in climate areas with weak health infrastructure mostly in developing countries will be the least able to cope with assistance to prepare and respond who supports countries in building climate resilient health systems and tracking national progress in protecting health from the climate change abhi yahan pe डब्ल्यू एच ओ विल सपोर्ट द कंट्रीज दो विल बी एबल टू और ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड अ क्लाइमेट रेजिलियंट क्लाइमेट रेजिलियंट मीन्स क्लाइमेट रेजिस्टेंट हेल्थ सिस्टम एंड ट्रैकिंग नेशनल प्रोग्रेस इन प्रोटेक्टिंग हेल्थ फ्रॉम द क्लाइमेट चेंज सो दो कंट्रीज विच आर ए रेडी और विच आर ट्राइंग टू टेक द एफर्ट्स और डू द थिंग्स इन सच अ वे दैट द पर्टिकुलर कंट्री विल बिकम a climate resistant uh, country who is ready to support them to 30 3.2 million deaths reported due to indoor air pollution 4.2 million particulate fine particles improving access to water sanitation and hygiene can save 1.4 million lives per year this this is uh, uh, as per the latest or new who report what they are saying is the number of deaths they have given 3.2 million reported due to indoor air pollution see we are generally blaming others because of the status of the or for the status of outdoor air pollution may be extensive use of crackers may be extensive use of vehicles industries etc etc but who has also considered indoor air pollution burning of fuel fossil fuel this could be the main reason for this then because of particulate fine particles in indoor and outdoor environment the number is 4.2 million that means all the things 
at your home you have to think in the out of the home in the outdoor environment in the indoor environment everywhere we have to think if we want to improve ourselves what is environment the, this word has been uh, derived from the french word en en means in and beyond means circle so within the circle that means objects circumstances or conditions by which any object or anybody is surrounded this is called as environment hum log jahan pe baithe hain all the objects and circumstances in around us all the conditions around us all these are the uh, this come in the environment and as i have told you before external environment and internal environment these are two important parts of environment that we will elaborate later on components of the environment can you see trees sunlight then soil uh, then greenery grass over here this is a these are all these are the components like this animals these are also components biofilms water etc all these are the components of the environment before that let me tell you the concept of environmental health environmental health is a part of public health concerned with assessing and understanding the impact of the environment on people and of the people on the environment impact of environment on the people and impact of people on the environment here it comes man and environment relationship so what is man and environment relationship you know air water and shelter these are life support systems our activities at home activities at workplace activities during our at transportation okay all these activities at every place these activities are generating few uh, waste material few residues like residues and waste material that we are generating these are either in the form of solids or in the form of liquids or in the form of gases so here you can just read it like this activities at home may generate residues and waste material in the form of solids liquids and gases at home in the air activities at home may generate residues and waste in the form of solids liquids and gases may be in the water likewise we have to think that means man is continuously generating various kinds of waste materials various kinds of residues in all kinds of life support systems and environment so these things are very very closely interlinked or associated impact of man on environment being it is linked together population rise and urbanization construction of various dams roads bridge and nuclear power plants these are few of the important things of course there are n number of the list will be very long very big many activities many activities of man will be having a severe impact on the environment now here we will be having one activity are you there all of you aap log ho kya हो मैडम हो यस यस मैम मैम ओके इफ यू 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 हैव हैव पेन पेन एंड एंड पेपर विथ फॉर वन वन एक्टिविटी एक्टिविटी कैन जस्ट मेक लिस्ट ऑफ अदर लाइक पॉपुलेशन राइज अर्बनाइजेशन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ डैम्स रोड्स ब्रिजेस न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स like you make list of at least five things which have a great impact on the 
environmental quality and then we will read it out i will give you 5 minutes please make a list Okay, have you prepared a list? Are we listed? Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Ma so I hope you have listed the uh, things that have impact. Can you just tell me please, other than these three, if you have written, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma the increased use of vehicles uh -huh. that again creates pollution. So uh, instead of that, we can use bicycles or carpooling. Right. Then uh, increased use of plastic. So mm. in cities, mostly in cities, the plastic use is abundant. Right. Then uh, again, uh, we are building cement jungles right now. Mm. And uh, again, for a uh, building of highways, we are cutting um, trees. Uh, yes. me, actually, me, I am a native uh, Sindhu Durga. I am a Jeva Pandravarshan Purvi, I am a Sindhu Durga. I am a Purna Kokan, I am a Hirva Gar. I am a Purna National Highway. I am a Rakhra Kit, I am a Mutis Hada. I am a Mutis then ya sagle barobar hai tumsa agdi barobar hai kokan khup sundar hai ajunahi pan tita tar ja paddhatina je sagla chalu ahe karun ashi beti vatte ki purche 15 varshanantar kokan kulanantar kay pahayla nahi pan mala sanga ek shikshak madun tumhala kay vatte ki yavar upay kay ahe ka madam actually pragati karna he chukicha nahiye pan jeva ti jhad tithe todli geli itna tar amcha kade barechda na mumbai madhe ami na ti jhad punna manje replant keli jatat manje काय ती विशिष्ट एक प्रकार आहे त्याला मदत मला आठवत नाहीये तर तशीच्या तशी ती काढून दुसरीकडे ती प्लांट केली जातात सो हे तरी किमान होणं गरजेचं होतं तर ते पण नाही झालेलं आहे आणि आपल्याला माहिती आहे मॅडम कोलकाताचं एवढं मोठं जे वडाचं झाड आपण म्हणतो जे सर्वात प्राचीन वडाचं झाड आहे कोल बोटॅनिकल गार्डन म्हटलं तर तिथून मॅडम त्या लोकांनी ते झाड तोडलं नाही त्यांनी त्याच्यातून मार्ग काढले रस्ते त्यांनी बिल्ड केले त्याच्यामधून तर करू शकलो असतो आपण दुसरे पण विचार पण आता म्हणजे बरेचदा मी बघते ना कोकणात जाताना सगळे रस्ते वगैरे बांधण्यासाठी सगळी झाडं वगैरे भरपूर तोडली गेलेली आहेत आणि स्थानिकांनी विरोध केलाय ह्या सगळ्या गोष्टींसाठी पण तरी पण काही ह्या गोष्टींमध्ये होत नाहीये तेच तर पण काही कारण आहेत 
पण आपला तो म्हणजे विषय नाही आहे परंतु तुम्ही जे म्हणताय ते अगदी बरोबर आहे आणि थँक्यू सो मच तुमच्या आणखीन दोन आणखीन दोन आणि आपण दिवाळीमध्ये मुंबईमध्ये तर ज्या प्रकारे क्रॅकर्स फोडले जातात फटाके तुफान म्हणजे एवढी हवा खराब असते त्या वेळेला की असं वाटतं की दिवाळी मुंबईत सेलिब्रेट करू नये इतक्या प्रकारे पोल्युशन असतं तो ते तर आपण पूर्ण थांबवू शकतो मुळात हा आणि केमिकल फर्टिलायझर्स वगैरे हे जे केमिकल्स यूज वगैरे आपण जे फार्मिंगमध्ये करतोय त्यामुळे अगेन पुन्हा क्वालिटी ऑफ क्रोप इज डिक्रीजिंग दिस वॉज द लास्ट ओके थँक्यू मॅम थँक्यू मॅडम 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 सिन्स मॅडम हा येस येस कॅरीबॅगचा अतिशय वापर त्यानंतर प्लॅस्टर ऑफ प्लॅस्टर ऑफ पॅरिसचा अति वापर नंतर कारखान्याची जी प्रदूषण आहे महिला जो आहे तो नद्यामध्ये सोडणं हे सुद्धा घातक आहे हो अगदीच घातक आहे आता सर गेले चाळीस वर्ष सिन्स लास्ट फोर्टी इयर्स वी हॅड नॉट परचेस्ड ऑर ब्रॉड क्रॅकर्स अभि चाळीस साल मे इतनी दिवाळी हम लोगोने सेलिब्रेट की आहे इतने टाइम्स मेनी टाइम्स फोर्टी टाइम्स लेकिन क्रॅकर्स के बिना भी हम लोग एन्जॉय कर सकते है क्रॅकर के बिना ही हम लोग सेलिब्रेट कर सकते है वो एक बात आहे और कॅरी बॅग ऑल्सो वी हॅव आय एम नॉट युजिंग कॅरी बॅग सिन्स लास्ट फोर्टी इयर्स कभी भी कॅरी बॅग हम लोग युज नाही करते हम किसी भी शॉप मे गे कुठ भी लिया हमेशा आय एम किपिंग वन क्लॉथ बॅग विथ मी उसी भी हम लेके आते चाहे कुठ भी लेके आना है या फल है या सब्जी है या कोई ग्रोसरी है कुछ भी हो हम लोग बाहर का पैकिंग नहीं लाते तो अगर इफ वी विल स्टार्ट डूइंग थिंग्स एट इंडिविजुअल लेवल इट मे हेल्प खारिचा वाटा बोलते हैं ना हम लोग है ना मराठी में खारिचा वाटा वैसे हो जाएगा नेक्स्ट स्लाइड ये है इसमें सी यू कैन सी लिस्टिंग इन दिस स्लाइड ऑल्सो एयर पोल्यूशन ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट चेंज these are the consequences these are the consequences of the things we are doing today right in connection with air pollution global climate change stratospheric ozone depletion urban air pollution acid rain outdoor pollutants indoor pollutants and noise these effects we are facing now biodiversity depletion habitat destruction habitat degradation and extinction of the species then in case of food supply problems overgrazing farmland loss and degradation of farmland wetland loss and wetland degradation overfishing coastal pollution soil erosion soil salinization soil water logging water shortages groundwater depletion loss of biodiversity and poor nutrition these will be the rather all these problems we are facing now ab ye future mein hoga aise batane ka time chala gaya in case of waste solid waste and hazardous waste and water ke concern mein in case of water concern water pollution or water environment nutrient overload which results in the eutrophication eutrophication of pond eutrophication of lake and even eutrophication of rivers then toxic chemicals infectious agents um, oxygen depletion pesticides oil spills in case of oceans and seas and excess heat generation which may result in the global warming what is health now let us again come to the health it is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely absence of disease or infirmity as per world health organization ye definition agar hum log apply karenge to aaj ki sadi mein aaj ki ghadi mein aapko kitne log milenge jo healthy hai healthy means totally healthy including their mental health including their social health fitness that's why who is saying it is a state of complete physical mental and social well being and not merely absence of disease and infirmity any kind of uh, disability any kind of disease doesn't only indicate health status or disease status 
उससे तो ये है कि आपका मेंटल हेल्थ भी अच्छा होना चाहिए अब क्या साइन है इसका कि अपना मेंटल हेल्थ इज इन गुड कंडीशन वी आर गुड एट द मेंटल लेवल ये दिस इज अ पॉइंट ऑफ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन हमको इंट्रोस्पेक्शन ही करना पड़ेगा खुद का तभी जाके इसका आंसर पता होता है है ना तो अगर हम लोग मेंटली फिट है सोशली फिट है देन एंड देन ओनली वी कैन से दैट वी आर हेल्दी अदरवाइज वी ऑल आर डिसीज वी आर ऑल एट अ डिस्कम्फर्ट इन अ डिस्कम्फर्ट जोन होलिस्टिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ हेल्थ वॉट इज होलिस्टिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ हेल्थ दिस कंसेप्ट रिकग्नाइज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ सोशल इकोनॉमिकल पॉलिटिकल एंड एनवायरमेंटल इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन हेल्थ मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया कि हेल्थ का कंसिडरेशन शुड बी ऑलवेज फ्रॉम द फ्रेम ऑफ ऑल एस्पेक्ट्स एंड नॉट ओनली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिसीज जनरली वॉट वी आर थिंकिंग इज अगर मुझे आज टेम्परेचर नहीं है फीवर नहीं है इफ आई एम नॉट कफिंग इफ आई एम नॉट स्नीजिंग इफ आई डोंट हैव हेड एक और बॉडी एक आई एम हेल्दी इट इज नॉट ट्रूथ एंड सेकेंड कंसेप्ट इज होलिस्टिक कंसेप्ट वॉट इज अ होलिस्टिक कंसेप्ट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ सोशल इकोनॉमिकल एंड पॉलिटिकल एनवायरमेंटल इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन हेल्थ अगर आपके ऊपर है ना सोशल इकोनॉमिकल पॉलिटिकल एंड एनवायरमेंटल नेगेटिव चेंजेस का इम्पैक्ट नहीं हो रहा है दैट मीन्स यू आर इन अ स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ होलिस्टिक हेल्थ शेल आई रिपीट अगर आपके ऊपर आप पर ऑन योर हेल्थ सोशल निगेटिव चेंजेस इकोनॉमिकल निगेटिव चेंजेस पॉलिटिकल इनिगेटिव मूवमेंट्स एंड एनवायरमेंटल निगेटिव चेंजेस अगर नॉट दीज आर नॉट इन्फ्लुएंसिंग सपोज ऑन योर हेल्थ ऑन द ऑन योर मेंटल हेल्थ माइंड हेल्थ दैट मीन्स यू आर हेल्दी और यू आर इन अ स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ दिस इज अ होलिस्टिक अप्रोच इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फ्रेंड्स है ना क्योंकि अगर सोशली कुछ भी हो जाता है तो हम लोग डिस्टर्ब हो जाते हैं अगर कुछ भी पॉलिटिकली मूवमेंट भी होता है हमको ज्यादा इट डजेंट एक्चुअली मेक्स एनी सिग्निफिकेंट इम्पैक्ट सिग्निफिकेंट चेंज इन आवर लाइफ है ना पॉलिटिकल मूवमेंट तो चेंजेस होते रहते हैं उसमें लेकिन इवन दो मेनी पीपल आर हैबिचुएटेड टू गेट डिस्टर्ब बिकॉज ऑफ सच चेंजेस देन यू आर नॉट हेल्दी मैडम पण असं कोणीच नाही सापडणार आता कसा होलिस्टिक हेल्थ वाला आहे ना मॅडम आहे ना असतात ना दोज हु आर डुईंग दोज हु आर मेंटेनिंग यु नो स्पिरिच्युअल हेल्थ स्पिरिच्युअल वो स्पिरिच्युअल हेल्थ कॉन्सेप्ट भी ऐसा ही आहे ना यस 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 क्योंकि देखिए अभी मैं आपको एक सिंपल एग्जांपल देती हूं हां देखिए मैडम अगर सपोज बोथ ऑफ अस वी आर मीटिंग आप और मैं हम लोग मिले सपोज है ना किसी कॉलेज में या आपके घर में या मेरे घर में या कहीं पे भी लोग मिले मैं आपके घर में आई सपोज इफ आई हैव सम एक्सपेक्टेशंस कि जैसे ही मैं आपके घर में आऊंगी आप बहुत ही मतलब ऐसे बाय हार्ट मेरा वेलकम करेंगे यू विल गिव मी सम गुड थिंग जैसे कि कुछ भी आप मुझे दोगे मुझे ऑफर करोगे है ना कहीं आप तुम्हें मैं देना मजा आदर सत्कार खूब करना मग जाता ना मला गिफ्ट पण देणार हा माझ्या बरोबर बसून पूर्ण गप्पा मारणार माझा मी जितका वेळ तुम्हाला वेळ देईल तेवढा तुम्ही माझ्या सोबतच असणार वगैरे 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 या एक्सपेक्टेशन घेऊन मी तुमच्या घरी आले आणि सपोज तुम्ही याच्यातलं काही करू नाही शकले मी असं नाही म्हणत की तुम्ही मुद्दाम करणार नाही किंवा काही समजा तुम्हाला त्या दिवशी काही टेन्शन आहे तुमच्या फॅमिलीमध्ये काही प्रॉब्लेम आहे तुम्हाला कॉलेजमध्ये काही असाइनमेंट आहे तुम्हाला लवकर जायचं आहे तुमच्यावर प्रेशर आहे तर तुम्ही समजा एवढं नाही करू शकल्या माझ्यासाठी तुम्ही मला गिफ्ट नाही दिलं तुम्ही मला रिपीटेडली आग्रह करून काही खायला प्यायला नाही दिलं माझ्याशी दोन शब्द फक्त तुम्ही बोललात आणि नंतर तुम्ही तुमच्या कामाकडे टर्न झालात तर 
मी किती डिस्टर्ब व्हायला पाहिजे ना मॅडम हा ना व्हायला तर पाहिजे की नाही एक ऑर्डिनरी माणूस तुम्ही आणि मी आपण तर डिस्टर्ब होणारच ना आणि मग एकदा आपण डिस्टर्ब झालो की आपण आपल्या घरी जेव्हा वापस येऊ तेव्हा आपली मनस्थिती काय असणार का या मॅडम मी गेले तर मला त्यांनी ठीक आहे त्यांना असेल प्रॉब्लेम पण पाच मिनिटं तरी माझ्याशी बोलायला पाहिजे होतं मी पहिल्यांदा गेले मला निदान छोटीशी तरी काहीतरी गिफ्ट दिली असती त्यांनी तर म्हणजे गिफ्ट म्हणजे मी एक्झाम्पल देते तुम्हाला आपल्याला ग्रीड नसतो त्याचा पण कुठेतरी एक छुप एक्सपेक्टेशन असतं की मॅडम मी थोडं तरी मला असं करायला पाहिजे तसं करायला पाहिजे आणि मी दिवसभर डिस्टर्ब राहते माझं माइंड दिवसभर डिस्टर्ब होतं ऍट द सेम टाइम तुम्ही जर मनापासून असं काही केलं नसेल तुम्हाला मजबुरीने तसं बिहेव्ह करायला लागलं असेल तर तुम्ही थोडा डिस्टर्ब होणार की माझ्याकडून असं होऊ शकतं नाही मी डिस्टर्ब म्हणजे मनाची स्थिती तुमची बिघडली माझी बिघडली हे जर आपल्यात समजून घेण्याची कॅपॅसिटी आपण खूप वाढवलेली असेल ऑलरेडी आणि लेट गो लेट गो म्हणजे सोडून देणे म्हणजे तुम्ही मला थप्पड जरी मारली असेल अपमान केला असेल तरी तो सोडून देण्याचा जर मला जमत असेल रिव्हेंज घ्यायची जर माझी तशी वृत्ती नसेल आहे ना तर मी त्या मुवमेंटच्या पासून पुढच्या मुवमेंट पासून माझ्या मनाला डिस्टर्ब नाही करणार आहे ना माय माइंड विल बी फ्री हॅपी मी आनंदीच असेल आणि शेवटी काय सगळं हॅपीनेस साठी असतं की नाही येस मॅम पण हे प्रॅक्टिस नाही जमता मॅडम हो हे खूप प्रॅक्टिस लागते मॅडम याच्यासाठी आणि हा आणि म्हणजे आता सिन्स लास्ट टू इयर्स आय एम डुईंग इट आणि माझ्यात फरक झालेला आहे स्वतःमध्ये व्हेरी नाईस त्यामुळं मी हे सांगू शकले तुम्हाला तर हे जमतं मॅडम पण इट इज व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट आणि व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट का डिफिकल्ट आहे तुम्हाला हेही सांगते आता आपण सगळे शिक्षक आहोत आता बोलतो साहेब तर हाही मुद्दा बोलते की आपण का डिफिकल्ट म्हणतो एक लहान मुल जेव्हा घरात मोठं होत असते ना मॅडम तेव्हा आपण त्याला हेच सगळं शिकवतो ना समजा आता पाहुणे आले घरी आपण त्या मुलाला लगेच म्हणतो चल रे पिंट्या तुझी कविता म्हणून दाखव नाहीतर एखादी मुलगी असेल तुझा डान्स करून दाखव मग ते पाहुणे काय करतात हा छान म्हटलं सर तू छान डान्स केला ना तू मस्त मस्त हे घे चॉकलेट गिफ्ट घे तुला म्हणजे असं होत की नाही त्या मुलाची त्या ठिकाणी लहानपणीच समजूत होती मॅडम की मी काहीतरी केलं आणि मला जर समोर कोणून पॉझिटिव्ह रिस्पॉन्स मिळाला मला जर स्तुती मिळाली देन माझ्या मनाची स्थिती आता हॅपी झाली आणि आता मला सर्टिफिकेशन झालं माझं आपण पावला बोलायला ना मॅडम दुसऱ्याकडून सर्टिफिकेट मिळवत असतो ना बरोबर तू चांगले दिसते तू छान आहे तू हुशार आहे तू हा पदार्थ छान केला तू शाळेत चांगलं शिकवलं तू कॉलेजमध्ये छान लेक्चर घेते हे आपल्याला तू म्हणजे स्वतःचं काही कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन ते म्हणजे स्वतःचं स्वतःला बाजूला सारून स्वतःला बाजूला करत करत जायचं आणि आदर लोकांना महत्व देत जायचं त्यातून मग दोन पॉईंट आहेत दोन साईड आहेत एक तर स्तुती झाली की आनंद होणार आणि समजा मला चुकून कोणी म्हंटल की मॅडम तुमचा हा लेक्चर चांगलं झालं नाही द लेक्चर वॉज नॉट सो गुड ऍज पर एक्सपेक्टेशन तर मग मी काय दिवसभर नाराज होणार का वेन आय एम ट्राईंग माय बेस्ट इफ यू आर नॉट लुकिंग फ्रॉम माय फ्रेम इफ यू आर फिलिंग दॅट माय लेक्चर वॉज नॉट गुड इज नॉट गुड इट्स ओके दॅट विल बी युअर परस्पेक्टिव्ह तो एक डायलॉग आहे ना मॅडम मी आपली आपकी फेवरेट हो मला वाटतं करी मॅडम आणि खरं सांगू तुम्हाला सेल्फ टॉक इज व्हेरी व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट आणि आपल्या आपल्या आता हेच झालंय आपल्या बरोबर सगळ्यांबरोबर वी आर सो बिझी आपण इतके आउटवर्ड म्हणजे झालोय ना एक्स्ट्रॉवर्ड झालोय आपण मॅडम की एव्हरीथिंग एव्हरी टाइम वी आर ओनली थिंकिंग अबाउट अदर्स येस मॅम म्हणजे आपण ड्रेसही घालताना विचार करतो की आज कॉलेजमध्ये अमोक फंक्शन आहे सपोज मी ही साडी नसली हा ड्रेस घातला देन कस वाटेल पुन्हा ना दुसऱ्यांना पण पहिला आपण कधीच विचार रिझन दॅट सॉल्व इवन मी मागे काही दिवसांपूर्वी हेही वाचलेलं की मुली आता मुलं किंवा मुली फेसबुक वरती त्यांना जे काही पोस्ट करतात त्याच्यावर किती लाईक्स येतात त्याच्यावर त्यांचा आनंद अवलंबून असतो अगदी 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 आणि मॅडम किती गंभीर आहे हे बघा आज आपण समजा सगळे पन्नासीकडे निघालेलो आहोत वी आर अडल्ट अँड ऑल ऑफ अस वी आर टीचर्स आज आपली मुलं त्या टीन एज मध्ये जनरेशन आहेत अजूनही असतील सगळी मुलं एकसारखीच आपले विद्यार्थी आहेत आणि मॅडम आपले तरी कन्सेप्ट अजूनही चांगले आहेत अजूनही आजकाल आपण एवढा तरी विचार करतो की ठीक आहे मी ही साडी नेसली ना मला छान दिसते आय एम कम्फर्टेबल इन दिस इट्स ओके त्यांना नाही आवडली म्हणून काय चाललं आता आपण हा विचार करू शकतो बट अवर चिल्ड्रन दे आर नॉट रेडी टू थिंक लाईक दिस करेक्ट आणि मला सांगा किती गंभीर आहे मॅडम Even if you are considering your WhatsApp likes, Facebook yes. likes. Yes. Madam, I don't have Facebook. 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 I don
क्या बात है <laughs> मी होते मी डिऍक्टिवेट करून टाकलं ते नंतर श्याम डोक्याला ताव पाहिजे इव्हन दो आपण आता ऑनलाईन काम करतो इव्हन दो मी फक्त व्हॉट्सअप वर काम कम्युनिकेट करते आणि आय एम वर्किंग आणि आय एम व्हेरी हॅपी करेक्ट मॅम आय एम नॉट शेअरिंग माय एनी पर्सनल मुवमेंट विथ द सोसायटी येस येस मी टू मॅम हा अँड आजकाल व्हॉट पीपल आर डुईंग सपोज आपण कुठे पिकनिकला गेलो हजबंड अँड वाईफ आहे लगेच यू आर पोस्टिंग द फोटोज ऑन द फेसबुक वाईट इज नीडेड टू शेअर युअर फोटोग्राफ युअर स्पेशल मुवमेंट विथ ऑल अदर पीपल इव्हन हजबंड आणि वाईफचा बर्थडे जरी असला तरी ते लोक फेसबुक वरती हे टाकतात की यु आर माय धीज यु आर माय अरे धीज आर युअर पर्सनल थिंग्स यु शू शेअर राईट आणि मला सांगा मॅडम गरज काय आहे दुसऱ्यांना सांगायची इज देर एनी नीड सो हाच होत ना की मॅडम आपला आपला आनंद दुसऱ्यांच्या लाईक्स वरती ठरतो ना म्हणून ते सगळं चाललेलं आहे सगळ्या आणि आता जाऊ लेट मी टेल यू व्हेरी फ्रीली वी आर टॉकिंग लाईक फ्रेंड्स ऑफकोर्स ऑल ऑफ अस वी आर कलिग्स अँड फ्रेंड्स मला एक सांगा आज माझ्या मुलीच्या व्हॉट्सअपचा स्टेटस आहे एक एन्व्हायरमेंटचा पिक्चर म्हणजे एक अॅनिमल घोडा आहे कधी कधी टायगर असतो मीन्स शी इज पोस्टिंग लाईक दॅट एन्व्हायरमेंट अँड अदर काइंड ऑफ किंवा सर अब्दुल कलाम किंवा जे तिचे आयडियल आहेत राईट हा बिकॉज ती मोठी होताना तिने पाहिलं ना की तिचे मम्मी पापा असे कुठलेही मुवमेंट कुणाबरोबर शेअर करत नाहीयेत We are celebrating for our family only. Correct. Automatically, she is becoming like that. Tini, mm-hmm. madam, maja kada jewa ti lahan hoti, aas ti moti hai. Jewa ti lahan hoti, tini mala kadhi hi cracker ma gitla nahi. Ti pasta vashe jasta na tini mala saan gitla ki aai mala fatakada in chai wa ji ek dress extra pai je. And I was very happy. Yes, ma'am. Mala saan ga varo manje, divai la samdha apan teen dress geto hai, teen occasion che. Ta tina la apan char di le, ek extra bonus. and if she is happy she can wear that throughout the year and we are not uh, uh, we didn't brought any type of cracker yes. happy kai sanga vas lagla nahi my my son also ha manje mala sanga your son also because he is looking at you and he is doing like that like that my sister my Correct. daughter is also the same manje apan thoda sa every time we cannot blame on the education yeah. system and teachers I know. They, they are our kids are following our our uh, footprints that's why ah, exactly exactly ab ye agar samajh mein aaya to aur kuch bolne ki zarurat bhi nahi hai correct 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 ma'am thank oh, you so much ma'am hum log kya bol rahe hain madam aajkal parents bhi kya bolte hain education system teachers lecturers of course we are also equally responsible i do agree with that i'm not denying हम लोग उसके लिए जिम्मेदार है लेकिन हमसे भी ज्यादा अवर्स युअर किड युअर सन युअर डॉटर इज स्टेइंग विथ यू हाउ यू आर बिहेविंग वॉट यू आर डूइंग एट युअर होम ऑफकोर्स इट विल हैव अ व्हेरी ग्रेट डे इम्पॅक्ट एट द डेफ्थ ऑन द हार्ट ऑफ ऑल दीज किड्स ये थोडा अगर हम लोग कन्सिडर करेंगे देन द थिंग्स विल बिकम व्हेरी इजी Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, as yeah. as said always, as, uh, our kids are our, our extension. So, yes. 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 आजकाल मॅडम बच्चे पडते बी नाही आहे ना दे आर दे आर स्पेंडिंग ऑल देअर टाइम ऑन डुईंग ऑल दिस थिंग ऑन फेसबुक अँड व्हॉट्सअप कोई बी सुधा मूर्ती जे की इतके अच्छे अच्छे किताब आहे नो बडीज रेडी टू रीड इट है ना कोई भी नाही पडणे केले तयार करे भी तो क्या लेकिन कुठ तो ट्राय करते राहणार चाहिये उनको चेंज करणे केली ऐसे मुझे लग रहा करेक्ट आहे मॅम येस थँक्यू मॅडम व्हेरी थँक्यू मॅम नाईस टॉकिंग टू यू थँक्यू अभी हेल्थ डिटर्मिनंट थोडा देखते हैं दिस इन्क्लूड नंबर वन इज हेरिडेटरी फॅक्टर ऑलवेज बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ द मेटाबॉलिक डिसऑर्डर्स आर कमिंग through the genes and genetic information lifestyle is playing a very important role abhi hum log baat hi kar rahe the abhi madam hamare mere sath baat kar rahe the to all it comes in lifestyle kyunki agar hum logo ne abhi usi se continue hote hain aage agar hum log dukhi ho gaye kisi ne aaj mujhe bol diya ki aapka lecture itna kuch acha nahi tha aur agar main din bhar dukhi ho gayi तो द हेडेक विल बी देअर मुझे दोपहर तक मेरा हेड मतलब सर दुखना शुरू हो जाएगा और मेरी पूरी हेल्थ खराब हो जाएगी सो इट विल बी चेंजिंग लाइफ स्टाइल है ना मैं अपनी लाइफ स्टाइल दूसरों की वजह से चेंज कर रही हूँ दिस इज वन पार्ट अनदर पार्ट इज डूइंग द थिंग स्पेंडिंग मैक्सिम टाइम बाय सिटिंग लैक ऑफ एक्सरसाइज है जंक फूड एज पर द इंटरेस्ट ओनली मतलब टेस्ट के लिए खाना अपनी बॉडी के लिए नहीं खाना 
जैसे पिज्जा खाना है बर्गर खाना है एंड एन नंबर ऑफ अदर थिंग्स विच आर ऑयली एंड स्पाइसी और बाकी कुछ हेल्दी खाना नहीं है लाइफस्टाइल ये सब चेंज हो गया है रात को देर रात तक जागना है सुबह जल्दी उठना नहीं है एंड वेन एवर यू आर गेटिंग फ्री टाइम इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग गुड थिंग्स यू स्टार्ट शेयरिंग और डूइंग द थिंग्स ऑन मोबाइल एंड योर दिस थिंग्स डिवाइसेस लाइक लैपटॉप एंड कंप्यूटर्स एंड एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंट इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर व्हिच डिटरमाइन योर हेल्थ डिसीज एंड डिसऑर्डर माल एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमन विद एनवायरमेंट रॉन्ग लाइफस्टाइल एंड हेरिडिटी ऑफ सम डिसऑर्डर्स जनरली हेरिडिटी इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर डिसऑर्डर्स मेटाबॉलिक डिसऑर्डर्स लाइक डायबिटीज एंड हाई ब्लड प्रेशर समटाइम्स कार्डियक अरेस्ट दीज आर द डिसऑर्डर्स दीज आर नॉट एनी इन्फेक्शियस डिसीज राइट रॉन्ग लाइफस्टाइल इज ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दीज डिसऑर्डर्स एंड माल एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ एन ह्यूमन विथ एनवायरमेंट जनरली इट हैज अ क्लोज कंसर्न विथ इन्फेक्शियस डिसीजेस से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ एवरीबडी विल ड्रिंक वॉटर फ्रॉम सेम रिजर्व ऑयल इफ फिफ्टी पीपल they will drink a glass of water from a particular water storage uh, tank or uh, any one single source and if 10 of them they will develop a disease like typhoid that will be the indication of mal adjustment of that particular 10 people with the water environment the water which they have used to drink this is an example generally what we are saying is knowledge is a key knowledge is the key for what knowledge is the key to solve the problems okay here i have listed few uh, you can say diseases and disorders or health conditions uh, in a negative concern of course which if we have knowledge of that and if we will try to remove the possibilities of getting infected with these diseases or disorders we can just make ourselves free from these diseases and disorders the reason is no two people live in the exact same environment the soil beneath our feet the air we breathe and the water flowing through our pipes and waterways can all differ greatly right depending on where we live on the top of that each of us eats different kinds of foods shares our space with different plants and animals and has access to different medicines and technology except for identical twins the genetic information that each of us carries deep inside our cells is also unique hum log maine jaise abhi bola na aapko hereditary मीन्स हम लोग जेनेटिक इंफॉर्मेशन जीन्स तो अपने पेरेंट्स के लेके आए हैं तो उसमें जो इंफॉर्मेशन है जेनेटिक इंफॉर्मेशन अकॉर्डिंगली आवर जेनेटिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विल मेकअप आवर जीनोटाइपिक एंड फिनोटाइपिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड अकॉर्डिंगली वी विल बी हैविंग आवर बिहेवियर हैविंग आवर फिजिकल स्ट्रक्चर फिजियोलॉजी हेल्थ स्टेटस एक्सेट्रा so what i said except for identical twins the genetic information that each of us carries deep inside our cells is also unique isliye bolte hain hum log bahut hi unique hai aapke jaisa aur koi nahi hai even brothers and sisters have different dna because they inherit a different combination of genes from their parents right so think of your genes and your environment as two sides of the same coin together they play equal roles in your health your genes can make you more or less likely to get sick at the same time your environment can either protect you or place you at greater risk of developing certain illnesses abhi maine aapko bataya mal adjustment अगर दस लोगों ने एक ही वाटर टैंक से एक ही वाटर पॉट से पानी पिया है दस में से पांच को टाइफॉइड हो गया तो उसके लिए रिस्पॉन्सिबल आर दीज फैक्टर्स लाइक उनका उनकी इम्यून सिस्टम द स्टेटस ऑफ देयर इम्यूनिटी एक्सेट्रा सो ऑल इट प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल 
you cannot do much about your genes but you can take steps to promote a better environment to help live a longer and healthier life this is a key if you will get knowledge of this that you can't change your genetic makeup it is not possible but you can take few steps to alter your environment to take care of you know your environment to uh, if you will take lot of efforts to prevent getting infected then of course definitely you will be able to live a very very healthy life according to some estimates nearly a quarter of the deaths around the world may be prevented by reducing environmental risk this is very important the national institute of environmental health sciences explores the connections between the environment and health and they are saying that if you will take preventive measures you will be able to keep your health now allergies and asthma what is it if you will get knowledge or if you will take simple steps such as washing bedding in hot water frequently then putting dust proof covers on pillows and mattresses and vacuuming and steam steam cleaning carpets it can significantly reduce indoor allergen levels and asthma symptoms generally many people they have dust allergy many people they have soil allergy many people they have you know that um, pollen grains allergy suppose if you will take care by using some small steps like washing your bedding bed covers pillow covers by using hot water detergents then dust proof covers agar apne pillow pe use kiye then mattresses then if you will do vacuum cleaning of your indoor uh, things means your indoor environment if you will keep free from dust carpet ko frequently clean kiya if you will do all these things if you will take care of that it will significantly reduce the uh, level of indoor allergens and definitely the people having allergy and asthma they will be able to stay free from this allergy and asthma cancer in case of cancer as you know carcinogens are responsible uh, many times to induce the mutations in the cells Uh, how cancer is caused cancer is caused by changes on or mutations in your genes right <clears throat> that control the way our cells function uh, if there will be mutation in the dna sequence change in the alteration in the dna sequence the cell will um, divert uh, the cell will get diverted from the normal function and the cell starts growing uh, at a unlimited rate and there will be a development of a uh, cancer then uh, rather than responding properly to the signals that control normal cell behavior the cancer cells try to behave, behave in a, a different manner different manner cancer cells grow and divide in an uncontrolled manner some people can inherit faults in certain genes that make them more likely to develop cancer other times many times environmental factors such as sunlight cigarette smoking air pollution and others may lead to mutations and that will contribute to the cancer formation so you can say that cancer you can avoid exposure to uh, such things like uh, cigarette smoking you can avoid many times air pollution you can avoid and you can prevent yourself by that that you can do um, simply by changing your lifestyle like uh, eating just a couple of more servings of fruits and vegetables a day even if you will change your lifestyle in a very uh, you know at a minute level if you will start eating um, vegetables and fruits then and then only you will be able to uh, remain far away from the cancer then comes microbiome what is microbiome microbiome is a Uh, you know group of microorganisms present in and around you uh, 
of course micro uh, microorganisms are ubiquitous in nature like cord they are present everywhere and in in your body on the skin of your body everywhere so many times uh, different species different kinds of organism they are staying together so their association is called as microbiome suppose if your health status is not good your immune system is weak then many of these uh, organisms present in the microbiome they will start behaving in a different way and they will start behaving as a pathogen and you may develop a disease such pathogens are called as opportunistic pathogens then occupational hazards you know this is a very important or rather a very uh, big deal it is actually what is uh, occupational hazard the hazards that you are exposing to them uh, at your workplace right so uh, in case of uh, some of the um, occupations like uh, scientific laboratories like those who are uh, working in the scientific laboratories they will be exposing many okay, exposing to many chemicals dyes uh, and many uh, different you know big uh, equipments uh, instruments etc so they are always at risk then even farmers nowadays farmers being they are using fertilizers and pesticides um, at a very uh, high concentration they themselves are exposing to these fertilizers and pesticides uh, ultimately uh, when you are using chemical fertilizers chemical pesticides uh, many of them they are even uh, very dangerous so farmers are exposing to uh, uh, the uh, chemicals so these are occupational hazards job related illness we are calling in a very simple language industry workers they are continuously getting exposed to noise because most of the machines we are using in the industries these are noisy then doctors and medical staff like nurses ward boys other class 3 class 4 workers in the hospitals they are also continuously exposing to the radiations to the infectious disease uh, causing agents and to other even uh, in case of contagious diseases to the patients etc so this is again a very important uh, factor or aspect occupational hazards nervous system in case of nervous system many of the uh, disorders and uh, diseases uh, you can just find out because of getting exposed to the uh, you know different kinds of chemicals and radiation then uh, reproductive system means reproductive health be uh, it will be also getting affected because uh, infertility problem nowadays you can see uh, premature birth of the babies uh, babies having very uh, you know low weight uh, increased uh, this thing um, increased percentage of cesareans cesarean operations uh, then uh, low immunity in children uh, then many uh, uh, frequency of uh, diseases is more in case of even babies like rate of morbidity all it is increasing day by day then lung disorders in case of lung disorders already we have discussed about allergy asthma lung cancers and uh, many of the other things which may in, uh, have interference with the hemoglobin supply to all your other body parts then immune system you know immune system is our defense system whenever pathogen is entering in our uh, body our immune system has a soldiers white blood cells to fight with that pathogens and majority times we are getting covered and we are getting protected by this uh, immune system uh, cells and organs and we are not developing any disease but what happens sometimes because of alterations in the immune system cells because of alterations in the immune system function structure etc uh, immune system starts uh, um, showing defense against our own organs and then the condition develops which is called as autoimmune disease which is very difficult to cover up so such kinds of uh, problems may arise because of changes unsafe water unsafe water is responsible for the epidemic for the endemic for the pandemic 
of many waterborne related diseases. Later on, we will elaborate that endocrine disruptors. Endocrine system is dealing with hormonal uh, secretions. The endocrine system produces hormones, right? That control practically every function in the body, including growth, metabolism, then uh, development, then reproduction, sleep, and mood. Many natural and man-made substances like, say for example, BPA. BPA is called as bisphenol A. It is a chemical. And uh, this BPA disrupt endocrine system. And these endocrine disruptors are often found in everyday atoms like plastic bottles, metal food cans, detergents, then flame retardants, cosmetics, and pesticides. So these uh, agents like bisphenol A, these substances are able to interfere with uh, functioning of endocrine and they are able to change our hormonal levels, hormone secretions also. So exposure to endocrine disruptors can cause problems with fertility, pregnancy, and other aspects of reproduction. See how severe it is, right? It may include um, premature birth, then uh, <clears throat> lower um, delivery of lower birth weight babies, then how children who are more likely to develop certain diseases later in their life. So we can limit this exposure. Uh, we can limit, we can control our exposure to these chemicals by reducing use of plastic containers, uh, filtering the drinking water before its consumption and dusting and vacuum, vacuum or doing vacuum cleaning often uh, in our house. Then windows of susceptibility. Anybody knows what is this windows of susceptibility? Can anybody tell me about it? What is it? Have you heard this particular windows of susceptibility? Are you there? Uh, no, ma'am. No, we are not heard. Okay, madam. Anybody else? Anybody else? I have not heard, madam. I okay. have not heard. Okay, let me let me explain you. This is a concept, new concept, windows of susceptibility. What is it? Health risk from environment factor we are discussing, right? So, during our entire life period, during our growth period, there are certain stages of the development. And these stages are called as here windows, in which in some windows of our life phase, we are very uh, susceptible, we are very sensitive to particular kind of negative environmental change or to particular kind of uh, pathogen, say for example. Abhi COVID ka example lije. In COVID, who were at the risk? COVID mein sabse jada risk in ko bola, in ke liye bola tha, those senior citizens, hai na? Or jin ko kuch other problems bhi hai, jaise ki cardiac problems, jaise ki high blood pressure, jaise ki diabetes, right? So that was a window. Hmm. So sensitive periods of our life, of our growth and development, in short, these are called as windows. A developing fetus, say for example, can adopt its metabolism and even reprogram its gene in response to some of the pathogens, some of the chemicals or a substance like alcohol they will potentially contribute to disease later in life. Abhi suppose fetus hai, fetus matlab garb mein, garb mein baby hai, aur maa agar expose ho gai alcohol ko, ya kisi bhi aise chemical ko, that chemical will be coming in contact with the fetus. Lekin fetus to abhi tak garb mein hai. Later on, that baby will take a birth, the baby will grow. Suppose if 
the fetus has been got exposed to xyz chemical which is responsible for a development of cancer to so later on in the life wo baby jab 50 years ka ho jayega ho sakta hai that particular baby will develop a cancer so in this case the fetus phase was a window window of susceptibility right is it clear sometimes sometimes our growing phase of years 5, 5 to 10 suppose 5 to 10 years of our age wo window hota hai sometimes while growing suppose if you have any other disorder like diabetes like blood pressure that becomes window this a covid ka example maine abhi diya so that is a window of susceptibility <clears throat> Health risk from the environmental factors are greater during certain periods of development. These especially sensitive periods are known as windows of susceptibility. A developing fetus can adopt its metabolism and even reprogram its genes in response to insults like air pollution or alcohol, potentially contributing to diseases later in life. That is a window. Children are also at risk. Because they are getting exposed to proportionately larger doses of environmental toxins while they are still developing. The health effects of many exposures may not appear until years later. For example, women who were exposed in the womb to diethyl stilbisterol, DES, a medication used in the year, in the era 1940 to 1970 to prevent miscarriages may have doubled the risk of developing breast cancer than unexposed women. Research on windows of susceptibility indicate that efforts to prevent disease may not need, may need to occur decades before the first symptom arise. So this is important. Not necessary that in window itself, you will develop a disease condition, a infective condition. It is not necessary. And now comes the environmental health. Initially, in the first slide, I showed you two concepts, right? One was environmental health and one was environment and health. So what is environmental health? WHO defines environmental health as those aspects of human health, including quality of life, that are determined by physical, biological, social, and psychosocial factors in the environment. It also refers to the theory and practice of assessing, correcting, controlling, and preventing these factors in the environment that potentially can adversely affect the health of present and future generations. So, if you are watching this slide, you will get the meaning. Human health, including life quality, they have included social and psychosocial factors also in the environment. And if we have past, uh, sorry, present and future generations, if you want to think about the health of present and future generations, then we have to, it is very necessary that we should think about environmental health, not only for in today's context, but also what will be the condition in frame of uh, future tense. Aage kya hoga? Ye dekhna bhi bahot hi jada zaruri hai abhi. If you want to give as a legacy to the generations, next generations, the healthy environment. Generally, you know what we are doing is we are thinking about many things like property, bank balance, education, that what we can keep, what we can give our uh, 
children what we can give our, to our students what we can give to future generations but have we ever thought about what kind of water we are leaving for next generation what kind of oxygen or air we are leaving for the next generation how many plants we are growing and we are keeping for the next generation what kind of fruits what kind of food what quality food material vegetables we will be keeping for the next generation see kabhi bhi hum logo ne ye nahi socha hai na and this is the problem with our generation we are always thinking about property bungalow car paisa and what not suppose kisi ko bhook lagi hai if somebody is hungry hungry sorry if somebody is hungry somebody is thirsty what you will give them water hai na khana ya gold coin kisi ko bhook lagi hai to kya denge khana hai na agar hamare paas khana hi nahi hoga to सपोज सिर्फ पैसा है अपने बैंक में जैसे स्वामीनाथन सर ने बोला था जिनको अभी अभी भारत रत्न पुरस्कार मिला है सिर्फ बैंक में बैलेंस है लेकिन खाने के लिए कुछ अवेलेबल नहीं है रोटी नहीं है कुछ भी नहीं है एक दाना भी नहीं तो पैसे सिर्फ है मेरे पास तो कैन आई ईट दैट वन क्वाइंस कैन आई ईट नो कैन आई ड्रिंक क्वाइंस नो अगर खाना चाहिए मतलब भूख लगी है तो खाना ही चाहिए प्यास लगी हो तो पानी ही चाहिए है ना तो इसकी बहुत ज्यादा कीमत है ना अगर फार्मर ही नहीं रहेंगे कल जाके अगर सॉइल ही नहीं रहेगी अगर पानी ही नहीं रहेगा तो होगा क्या खाना कहाँ से आएगा पानी कहाँ से आएगा बस बैंक में बैलेंस पड़ा रहेगा बट वी आर थिंकिंग दैट ओनली फॉर आवर चिल्ड्रन फॉर आवर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर आवर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन वी आर नॉट थिंकिंग That is the need of the time. Everybody knows what is sustainable development, what to do with the sustainable development. But we are not thinking, we are not doing other things in that way. Environmental health fact sheet. चलो देखते हैं facts क्या है. It is estimated that twenty five percent of the global diseases, disease burden, and twenty three percent of all deaths can be attributed to environmental factors. देखिए ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री मोर्टेलिटी रेट है ट्वेंटी नंबर ऑफ प्री मेच्योर डेथ एट्रीब्यूटेबल टू अर्बन आउटडोर एयर पोल्यूशन इज एस्टिमेटेड टू अमाउंट टू वन पॉइंट थर्टी फोर मिलियन वर्ल्ड वाइड ये सिर्फ मैंने इसीलिए दिखाया आपको दिस इज नथिंग बट द स्टैटिस्टिकल इंफॉर्मेशन एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर कितने प्रतिशत इट इज कंट्रीब्यूटिंग ये फैक्ट है सिर्फ हम लोगों ने अभी एनवायरमेंटल हेल्थ का कंसेप्ट देखा ना व्हाट इज एनवायरमेंटल हेल्थ देन इट इज नथिंग बट हेल्थ ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट वेयर यू आर स्टेइंग where you are working where you are residing uska health kaisa hai what is the health of a particular environment where you are staying it includes indicators kya honge fir kahi pe bhi jaake aise puch nahi sakte na kisi bhi um, garden mein jaake puchhenge how is your health plant ko nahi puch sakte water ko bhi nahi puch sakte na kisi river ke paas jaake puchhenge How is your health? गंगा माई आपकी हेल्थ कैसी है नहीं पूछ सकते ना एक तो दिखाई देता है इन सीवियर केसेस वी कैन जस्ट सी बट क्वालिटी इज द इंडिकेटर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर एनवायरमेंटल हेल्थ स्टेटस वाटर क्वालिटी फॉर द वाटर एनवायरमेंट एयर क्वालिटी फॉर द एयर एनवायरमेंट सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट स्टेटस इन केस ऑफ एनी पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टेट एक्सेट्रा नॉइज लेवल्स एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स एट डिफरेंट जोन्स रेसिडेंशियल एरिया हॉस्पिटल एरिया स्कूल एरिया कॉलेज एरिया 
etc. What are the noise levels at particular uh, site at different times? Then social environment. What is a kind or status of social environment and cultural environment? All these are health indicators. So here we will take a break of five minutes. Okay? Chalega aap logon ko? Five minute ka break chalega? Okay, madam. Okay. Thank you. Five minute ke baad fir se isi slide se shuru karenge. Okay, ma'am. Okay, five minutes ke baad milenge.
am i audible yes madam okay sir thank you sir suru karayche parat yes ma'am yes okay thank you so uh, environmental health indicators we discussed we had discussed now what are the environmental hazards environmental hazards are of different types biological hazards chemical hazards physical hazards psychological hazards and sociological hazards so biological hazards includes animal insects and microorganisms chemical hazards includes different types of toxins chemicals irritants poisons etc physical includes vibrations by machines radiations and abrasions then psychological includes stress depression boredom discomfort and sociological includes overcrowding isolation anomie so overcrowding now everybody knows about it because we have a lot of information about it in the covid pandemic there were some traditional hazards there were some modern hazards there are some modern hazards actually traditional in the sense during or before rather during ancient times or before development before much more industrialization there were few practices which which we are nowadays calling as calling as old practices that were traditional practices during that also there were some hazards and we have developed ourselves and now even in the modern era we have some different kinds of hazards that are modern hazards say for example uh, in uh, ancient time before um, investigation of uh, different types of chemicals different types of water treatment process the before the concept uh, of uh, giving treatment to the drinking water there were there were a, uh, you know tradition of drinking and using water directly from wells and rivers right so that was non treated water so what was the hazard at that time lack of treated drinking water non treated water use karte the hai na hamare dada ji ke time mein hoga shayad dada ji aur par dada ji ke time mein water treatment plants nahi the to wo log pura river se ya well se water use karte the ma'am probably that was again non contaminated water also to some extent Yes, it yes, was, yes. It was that's not why. that contaminated. Yes, that's why. That's why. But, like in us time pe, but there was a problem of you know few of the uh, organisms which were present in the water itself. Let's say water snake hai, hai na? Or yes. Ek ye bhi baat hai sir ki us time immunity of that people were very strong. so many times even if the pathogen was in the water the pathogen couldn't be able to cause a disease wo bhi ek tha lekin on an average epidemic ka bhi ek zyada tha na jaise aapne shayad suna hoga ya padha hoga kahi pe in uh, at that time diarrhea was a, a very threatened disease diarrhea se mortality rate was much high at that time diarrhea dysentery jaundice polio polio ka aapko malum hai na polio was very common during traditional time this is the difference in modern era we are facing a water pollution problem the same i have written traditionally poor quality of housing and shelter and travel now we have many vehicles many facilities of traveling and we are facing air pollution problem inadequate basic sanitation we have no waste water problem at that time food contamination problem was there because there were lack of some of the equipments and even awareness was also not there about contamination at that time so that was proved to be hazard many times for many epidemics and now we are facing a problem of pesticides in food and low nutritional value of food 
inadequate solid waste disposal, disease vectors, indoor air pollution, low control measures for floods and droughts, and occupational injury hazards in agriculture. These were all the traditional hazards. Now we are facing different hazards. Accumulation of waste, newly emerging infectious agents like COVID, like chikungunya, swine flu, etc. Vehicular air pollution, deforestation, land degradation, etc. Exposure to radiations during new industrial technology. All these hazards we are facing. Here, what I mean to tell you is that hazards are always there. Unka swarup, unka prarup badal gaya hai. Lekin hazards to hamesha se hai. Hai ki nahi? Sir, is it clear? Biological hazards. Modes of transmission of communicable diseases. Biological hazards, when you are uh, uh, talking about biological hazards, it is generally um, or many of these hazards or diseases are communicable. So this table shows you host source, mode of transmission, means of entry and receptor. Okay. So here again, you can read like this. Host source, man, transmission mode, direct contact, means of entry through skin, receptor, man or animal. Right. Then man, aerosol, transmission mode through air, entry will be through nose or mouth, as in case with COVID, receptor, man or animal. Insects or man again, man. Mode of transmission through water, means of entry, food or water, receptor will be man or animal. Then second, you can consider animals, direct contact through skin, through nose or mouth, through food or water, man or animal. Animal to animal, animal to man. Animal through aerosol, through skin, through nose or mouth, through food or water, Receptor, man and animal. Insects, again, insects, mode of uh, entry, mode of transmission, insects through direct contact, aerosol, water, maybe skin, nose or mouth, food or water, man or animal. So this chart should be, or this table should be considered in these ways. Okay. These all are biological hazards. Then chemical hazards. Many factors we can include under this, like solids, liquids, gases, solvents, and chemically active dust. Chemically active dust is dust having chemicals in that. Carcinogens, cancer-causing chemicals, chemical mutagens. These are also called as chemical mutagens. Chemicals that cause genetic mutagens. Teratogens that causes or harms embryos and fetuses. Neurotoxins. Chemicals that affect nervous system, endocrine disruptors, as we already had discussed, chemicals that interfere with the endocrine system, and allergens, chemicals that overactivate the immune system. Dust mite is a protein which is a common allergen. All these are the types of or examples of chemical hazards. Physical hazards include electromagnetic radiations. Accidental hazards, radiations, mechanical vibrations, sociological and psychological disturbances. It all comes under physical hazards. Then comes uh, physical hazards in the environment can pose health risks to humans. Say, for example, sometimes earthquakes, volcanoes, storms, avalanches. These are just some examples of natural disasters that can create or act as environmental hazards. So in short, we had up to this time discussed about uh, what is environmental health, what is environment and health, what are the impact changes on environment because of man's activities, what are the disorders, etc, etc. Now in short, let us have a focus on water and health. So whenever you are thinking or we are thinking or discussing about water, it should be having 
two angles. It should have two aspects. Like one is quality, another is quantity. 2023 update estimated that in 2022, 27% of the global population will lack safely managed drinking water. Meaning, safely managed drinking water means water available at home. Treated drinking water, if it is available at your home, it will be safely managed drinking water at home. 43% of the global population means 3.5 billion people. They will lack safely managed sanitation, meaning access to a toilet or latrine that leads to treatment or safe disposal of excreta, etc. Then 25% of the global population, uh, around about 2 billion people, didn't have access at home to a hand washing facility with soap and water. When we are thinking about water, we had just focused on the quality, uh, sorry, quantity in this slide. Come to the quality. Quality means polluted water, non-polluted water. Status of the water, water present in any reservoir. So there will be pollution by two means. Point source of the pollution. Where you can locate a point from where the pollution has been arising. So this pipe, if you will see, this pipe is responsible to uh, discharge industrial waste in a particular water source. Okay, being we can identify this source at a point, this is called as point source. This is a non-point water pollution. Can you imagine this is a river? See, this is a river. The river name is Sitaram River in Indonesia. And all this is waste, waste dumped in the river by people. We cannot see the river, but the river is there below this layer. Being here, there is not a single point which you can locate, which you can identify as a source point for the pollution. This is called as non-point water pollution. Water related diseases. There are different types of water related diseases. Number one is water borne diseases. Water borne diseases include typhoid, paratyphoid, cholera, shigellosis, which is also called as bacillary dysentery, and campylobacterium enteritis and amoebiosis. Water borne means from fecal matter, these pathogens are coming in the water and from the water again, these are entering in our body through our food or water and these are causing all these diseases or infections in our body. Then comes water wash. These are diseases such as skin and eye infections which could be prevented through providing increased quantities of water. The leading example of this kind of disease is trachoma, which is the consequences of eye infection with chlamydia trachomatis. Trachoma is endemic in 49 countries, mostly in Africa, but also in Eastern Mediterranean, Southeast Asia, and in the Western Pacific, it, has, it was experienced as endemic. It remains the most common preventable cause of blindness in the world. There are estimated 5.6 million people globally who are blind, visually impaired or at immediate risk of blindness from this disease. And further, 146 million cases of active trachoma in need of treatment. Trachoma is common in areas of the world that are socio-economically deprived of basic needs of housing, health, water and sanitation, having adequate quantities of water for washing, having 
or supplying adequate quantities of water for washing can decrease the number of infections of trachoma. C. Then comes water based. Water based infections are spread either through skin penetration or either by using contaminated water for washing the skin which is already ruptured. Schistosomiasis, joint pain, body pain, unwellness, then rash, cough, diarrhea. These are the symptoms. Or through water-based disease also is caused through ingestion. Ingestion means taking water inside, drinking water with the guinea worm. Agents like or protozoa like guinea worm. The disease causing agents of both means schistosomiasis and guinea worm spend part of their life cycle spend, spend part of their life cycle inside an intermediate aquatic host. The parasites spend some of their life cycle in humans also and some life path inside another water-based animal. That's why these are called as water-based. And the last type is water-related vector borne, which includes malaria, filariasis, dengue, and intestinal nematode infections. Water-related vector borne, these are the diseases spread by insects like mosquitoes mainly that either breed in the water or are found near water. I have given you examples like malaria, you know, anophilus mosquito is responsible for this disease and insecticides, uh, sorry, these uh, um, anophilus uh, mosquito when bites a healthy person, that person will get infected by malaria because the mosquito contains plasmodium vivex, which is a responsible protozoa or causative agent of malaria. Dengue also, you know, Aedes aegypti mosquito, which is generally get bred in artificial water source like diffused cans, tires, etc., water storage vessels, etc., and uh, breeding uh, sites agar aap remove karte ho. If you will remove these breeding sites, you can control on the dengue. You can have control on dengue. So these are some of the examples. Water sanitation. What is water sanitation? Prevention and control of water related diseases. It is a small part of environmental sanitation. To improve life quality, it is necessary. To prevent disease outbreaks, it is also necessary and to maintain public health. Water sanitation steps include natural reservoirs, means testing and maintenance of quality of natural reservoirs. At man-made reservoir level, water treatment plants, distribution system, individual houses, Water storage at home scale, post-contamination should be considered over here. When you are storing water in your home, after storing, because already you are storing a drinking treated water, after storing while handling the water, if you will not able to maintain water quality, if you will use infected utensils, spots, etc., your water will get contaminated again. That will be the post-contamination. These are some sampling techniques. You can collect a sample either from tap or even you can collect a sample from bore wells, from water reservoirs, from rivers, from tanks, etc. etc. You have to sterile, make the in aseptic conditions so to collect the sample. You can use, see, this is a flame burner you can use to uh, stir, make the uh, tap sterile, mouth of the tap sterile. First of all, you have to clean it by using a cloth which has an antiseptic. Then burn the mouth of the uh, tap 
to make it sterile. Then um, from laboratory, you have to carry this uh, sterile bottle, remove the cork or bottle of the bottle and collect the water from the sterile um, tap. See, this is a collection. Immediately you have to place the stopper or bottle, close the bottle. You can uh, add some chemicals for, for uh, means depending on for which test you are collecting the sample, you have to add some chemicals in the bottle and then you can bring or you can carry that bottles back to the laboratory for the testing. See, this is a sampling from the veil, how you can sample from the veil. Sampling for, from the reservoir, you have to remove the cork or uh, bottle tap, cap after dipping the bottle inside the water at least 20 centimeters from the surface layer and then you have to fill the bottle and again you have to place the cork while it is inside the under the water only. Then water is subjected to three types of you know tests like physical parameters, chemical parameters, microbiological parameters, etc. So by considering the heterogeneous group, because we have participants from languages and other uh, even subjects, I will not go in the detail how it is carried out, how it can be done, etc. Only I'm telling you the names. I will go a little bit fast over here. Turbidity of the water is important because water further, it is subjected to different kinds of treatments in the water treatment plant, depending upon the readings that you will be getting during turbidity testing. Color of the water, then comes taste and odor. Then this is the MPN test, most probable number test for water portability. Generally, uh, the uh, rather, this test is very, very important and it is compulsory in all treatment plants. Here you can see the tubes having some of the microbiological media like McConkey's broth, which has been uh, added in the tubes. These tubes has small tubes also inside it in the inverted position. That tubes are called as Durham's tubes. That small tubes which are being uh, dipped in the medium in the inverted position, that tubes carries or trap the carbon dioxide which will be formed or generated by some of the pathogens or organisms present in the water. Suppose if you will be able to detect the carbon dioxide in the small Durham tube during the test at the after the completion of the test period, then you can say that water contains few of the organisms like E. coli and therefore such water is should not be uh, consumed. Such water is called a non-potable water. So to determine the potability of the water, this most probable number test is very compulsory for the uh, water treatment plants. Basically, you have to decide whether the water which you are using for people, for community, for animals, for the drinking purpose, is it in a potable state or not? That is very important. So basically to determine potability of the water, this test is carried out. Furthermore, we can carry out many other tests which can give you results like this. These are Petri plates in which organisms are allowed to grow. These organisms, you can see these dot-like structures. These are colonies of the organism. You can see the colors. These are organisms from the water. Isko water se grow kiya hai on different media. Later on, microbiologists can study from these growth material, from these colonies, different cells, different organisms. They can identify the organisms and you can find out in used water, in tested water, which kinds of organisms are present in the samples. A sanitary survey can be defined as an on-site inspection and evaluation by a qualified person of all the conditions, devices, and practices 
in the water supply system, which pose a danger to the health and well-being of the water consumer. Sanitary survey kya hota hai? On-site inspection bahut important hai. On-site inspections, frequent on-site inspections and evaluations that to be by a qualified person of all the conditions, devices and practices in the water supply system, which can pose a danger is important. So, we have to go survey karna hai. Uh, sanitary survey, water treatment plant, hoga, collection system, hoga, water ka, uspe, at that site. Or that should be a frequently at a intervals. And that data will decide whether the uh, water, particular water reservoir should be used or not used. Accordingly, you can just keep the sanitary survey frequency. When sanitary survey is done, a new source is being contemplated. New source, if new source of water. If new source of water is you want to use, the sanitary survey is essential. Laboratory analysis indicates hazard to the health. Laboratory analysis, if indicated any particular water is contaminated or non-potable, means that will become a hazard to the health. In that case, the same source has been surveyed for many times. An outbreak occurs. Suppose if there will be any outbreak, any endemic, epidemic, pandemic, then sanitary surveys must to interpret bacteriological, chemical and physical analysis of sample. Laboratory analysis ke results ko supportively interpret karne ke liye bhi sanitary survey is important. When any change take place that can affect the water system, like industries coming up in the watershed. Suppose kisi water river ke pass, if somebody is starting new industry, okay, any new project which may lead to the disturbance in that zone, particularly uh, quality of water because of waste discharge from that industry. In that case, sanitary survey should be very frequently. Okay. And that sanitary survey will generate a data that will decide whether the government should allow or not allow to run that in industry. It is also a part of environmental impact assessment. And to keep the environment in a good health condition, sanitary survey should be on a regular basis. Air pollution, I will not go in detail because almost is 115. Airborne diseases, I will just only read the names, diphtheria, pneumonia, tuberculosis, influenza, meningitis, etc. Noise, noise, headache, noise pollution effects, headache, loss of hearing. This hearing loss will be temporary or permanent depending on the frequency of exposure, your exposure frequency to noise level and the uh, noise level itself. Then anxiety, irritation, irritating mind, loss of concentration, anger and nuisance. These are the noise pollution effects. This table will give you idea about what will, what are the noise standards. So area, industrial area uh, in the daytime, the decibels, these are the values given in the decibel 75. In the night, it should be or below 70. Commercial area, 65 or 55, five, sorry, 55. Daytime, the le daytime levels in the decibels, nighttime levels in the decibels and the area. See, in the residential area, the noise level in the daytime should be below 55 and in the nighttime should be below 45. And see whether your residential area has such values or not. Silence zone, 50 and 40 are the limits. These are the limits, noise standards. Solid waste leads to soil pollution. Polluted soil will lack, will be, uh, will lose the nutrients uh, level and the vegetation. If you will growing, if you will taking crops on the polluted soils, 
there will be lack of nutrients in the food stuff it will lead to groundwater pollution it will also lead to loss of aesthetic value of the environment and hazardous solid waste if you are using uh, uh, soil environment to dispose to dump the hazardous waste then the that particular land area will become uh, you know non usable social and cultural environment it will create uh, sometimes at the social and cultural level we are facing a um, problem which are severe like suppose somebody is making or creating a noise somebody is creating a air pollution in a particular area then it becomes very difficult to start a dispute with uh, that with that with the people and also it becomes very difficult to stay in the same environment at that time it causes stress at the local level tanav ki sthiti nirman ho jati hai हमारे पड़ोसी है हमारे कॉलोनी के लोग है हमारे वर्क प्लेस में लोग है तो उनके साथ हम लोग झगड़ा भी नहीं कर सकते उनको बोल भी नहीं सकते और सच अ नॉइज समटाइम्स यू नो इट बिकम्स वेरी अनटॉलरेबल टू टॉलरेट सच हाई नॉइज एंड अदर थिंग्स ह्यूमन ड्राइविंग फोर्सेस वी ऑलरेडी हैड डिस्कर्ड डिस्कस्ड सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट वॉट इज इट meeting the needs of present generation without compromising the needs of future generations origin of the concept sustainable development that was first used in the report of the world commission on environment uh, world commission on environment and development in the birdland commission our common future in 1986 usme wo pehle baar discuss hua tha definition we already had gone through needs of sustainable development of future knowledge history ecosystem understanding resource understanding is the need understanding challenges and opportunities management and implementation or these are the essentials to uh, 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 go for the sustainable development understand until you have the clarity in this you cannot uh, make approach for the sustainable development human footprints we have to think what is to do what are the human footprints what is it a measure of how much land and water an individual population or activity requires to produce all the resources it consumes and to absorb the waste it generates agar hum log ye soche ki main kitna waste generate kar rahi if i will eat one biscuit pack today at just at this moment I am creating a waste, plastic waste. Its wrapper I am creating. Kar rahi so, if I am using water to wash my clothes, I am using water. So, we have to do a little bit of calculation. What we are using, how much we are using, how much waste we are generating. We have to calculate the amount of waste we are generating. We have to calculate the amount of waste we are generating. We have to calculate the amount of waste we are generating. We have to calculate the amount of waste we are generating. We have to calculate the amount of waste we are generating. तो यूज तो कर रहे हैं लेकिन जनरेट कुछ नहीं कर रहे हैं नाउ लेट अस शिफ्ट ऑन इन लास्ट फाइव मिनट्स व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ टीचर स्टार्ट वर्किंग एंड क्रिएट अवेयरनेस व्हाट कैन आई डू एट द इंडिविजुअल लेवल एज अ टीचर यू कैन अरेंज टॉक शोज यू कैन अरेंज सेमिनार्स ऑन एनवायरमेंट ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन अरेंज एंड ऑर्गेनाइज कंडक्ट पोस्टर कॉम्पिटिशंस टू एनकरेज चिल्ड्रन स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन Uh, make your own papers at the conferences you can organize field surveys you can organize nature trails you can show video films on wildlife conservation active collaboration with ngo if you will collaboratively work with non governmental organizations you can do much more for the environment you can do mou with forest department and ngos you can prepare seed ball you can uh, uh, conduct workshops where you can train the students and other people of making seed ball uh, how to prepare the seed balls etc you can celebrate days by making annual calendar you can organize bird watching camps you can uh, you organize plant identification survey with preparation of plant database you can uh, you know adopt site village colony for tree plantation 
you can help forest officials in illegal wildlife trades you can uh, animal rescue you can do preparation of slide shows on local flora fauna for nearby schools you can do you can deliver guest lectures on the environment etc this what n number of things we can do this will be your first assignment because within 5 minutes we will be uh, closing this session live session you can have this assignment can you hear me all of you yes madam please yes, please, ma please note down this this will be your assignment number 1 or you can have a, a snap of this with the help of your mobile you can have screenshot this will be your first assignment screenshot liya okay thank you and this will be your second assignment you can submit these two assignments to your course coordinator Please tell once again, madam. First slide you want, first okay. assignment. This one? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. First, 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 yes. Okay, okay, please take, please take. Hello, my slide, Purna Dishat Nai. Take a minute, huh? Ata Dishte ka? Ha, Ata Dishte ka. Magashe thoda problems hala hota, slide yeah. shot sa kaitri. Manun mi to purna slide shot na hota ke na. Number two and Chidakwa. Number two and Chihi. This take a survey of it? Okay, okay. This is the matter. Okay. The Dom Chipanga. Number one, okay. number two. Bing, this is for your contact hours I'm giving you. Because I'm a big Katamka Rena session. I'm the Shurubi Dasmi Pile Kiata. Ten fifty we had started. So, any questions? If you have any questions, you can please ask. I will try my best to uh, give the answer. If you have any inputs, you can give. Agar aapko kuch share karna hai, aapko kuch bolna hai, aapko kuch puchna hai, session is open for that. I will try my best to give answer. No, madam, your lecture was understandable. By considering all subjects, sir, I had taken the information. Because myself, I am from microbiology. It doesn't mean that if I have shown you all microbiology, it will be uh, not easy to understand sometimes. That's why I had made it at a general uh, this thing by considering heterogeneity. So I hope that you have. I have one question, ma'am. Is there any specific definition of health? That definition already has given by WHO. Am logo ne pehle hi dikhai thi. Ek minute, if possible, I will again try to again try to show you that. Show you that. See, sir, this is a definition of the health. It is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of diseases or infirmity. And this is a holistic concept of health. We had talked on that. Sir? Yes, ma'am. I have taken a screenshot, ma'am. I think it's a proper one. Okay, okay. Thank you. So thank you for patiently listening me. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you so much, all of you. Once again, I express my thanks to Director you, of UGC, Malviya Teacher Center of Hello. University and Course Coordinator. Thank you so much. And I wish you all the best.
for your cash and career and for completion of this faculty induction program also. Thank you so much and all the best. Uh, madam, for assignments, is there any uh, word limit? No. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, madam. Nice meeting you, madam. Madam, aapka okay. naam bata hai, ma'am. Sir, bhool gayi thi. Me, uh, Roshni Kharat, madam. Naam kya hai tumse? Roshni, Roshni Kharat. Roshni Kharat, madam. Ah. Madam, college kono tha tumse? Uh, B.Ed college hai, H.B. B.Ed college, uh, Navi Mumbai, Washi. Mala hi khupa world lagad, maja ali lecture. Oh, kajhe tere ya amcha center lagi. Nakki, nakki. Nakki, madam. Oh. Thank you so much. All the best, madam. Thank you so much, madam. Thank you so much, madam. Madam, assignment ka kya karna hai? Ha, madam. Assignment का क्या करना है उसको? Assignment one one page आप write up करके आप course coordinator को submit कीजिए। अच्छा अच्छा मैम उसका screenshot लेना है please उस slide पे दीजिए ना। अच्छा okay मैम मैं send कर दूँगी आपको। Okay okay thank you so much मैम। नहीं तो मैं और एक बार आपको देखे हैं मैडम this is assignment number two आप चाहिए तो उसका screenshot ले सकते हैं। हाँ ले लिए assignment one पे दीजिए मैम। ये one है। Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you all. Shall I leave the meet? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. And thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Hello. Thank you, thank you, madam. Thank you all. Hello, madam. Thank you. Hello, madam. Thank you, thank you. Hello, madam. Hello. Hello, madam. Hello. Hello, madam. Hello. 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 One minute, please. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, ma'am. Today's assistant professor, Dr. Varsha S. Kumar, madam, इन्होंने हमें आज बहुत अच्छे तरीके से environment and health, one health concept, WHO, and madam ने हमें आज अच्छी तरीके से environment science के side effects क्या-क्या है हो रहे environment में और अच्छी आज का करंट इन्वायरमेंट जो है उसमें जो प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उसमें प्रॉब्लम के जो जो सॉल्यूशंस हैं वो भी मैडम ने हमको बताएं और आजकल जो वाटर पोल्यूशन भी बढ़ रहा है दिन ब दिन तो उसको भी कैसे कंट्रोल किया जाए उसके बारे में हमको बताएं कोविड के टाइम जो हमको बहुत से प्रॉब और आजकल का जो इन्वायरमेंट है उस हिसाब से कभी भी बारिश गिरती है कभी भी ठंडी पड़ पड़ रही है इसके साइड इफेक्ट्स क्या अपने हमारे ही मतलब ह्यूमन हेल्थ पे हो रहे हैं तो जिंदगी में हमें कभी अच्छे से हेल्थ रखना है तो अच्छी हेल्थ के लिए हमें सैनिटाइजर और अच्छे क्लीनलीनेस की जरूरत है आजकल जो कॉस्मेटिक जो बाजार में आ रहे हैं उसका हम यूज करते और उसके साइड इफेक्ट भी हमारे हेल्थ पे हो रहे हैं पेस्टिसाइड्स का भी ज्यादा से ज्यादा यूज हो रहा है उसका भी इफेक्ट हेल्थ पे हो रहा है दिन ब दिन मलेरिया डायरिया ऐसी बीमारियां बढ़ती जा रही हैं तो मैडम ने हमको अच्छी तरीके से समझाया कि कम से कम एक छोटा खारीचा वाटा मनुन अपन छोटे छोटे गोष्टीन पासुन इन्वायरमेंट बदे जा वाइट घटना घटता है क्या होता है तन्ना अपन या ठिकानी रोकु शक्तो व्हाट इज़ द हेल्थ या बदले डेफिनेशन मैडम ने दिला मेंटल फिजिकल फिटनेस अप्लाई या ठिकानी फार गर्जे चाहे ये मैडम ने हमको बताए हमारी लाइफस्टाइल हमने चेंज करना चाहिए हमारा लाइफ हैप्पी कैसे रह सके इसके बारे में मैडम ने बहुत अच्छे से फॉर एग्जांपल दे दे के हमको बहुत अच्छे से आज तरीक अच्छे तरीके से मैडम ने समझाए जो आजकल के स्टूडेंट्स हैं या जो आजकल के पैरेंट्स ने बच्चों के जो फेसबुक है या व्हाट्सएप है जो ज्यादा से ज्यादा यूज कर रहे हैं बच्चे उसके साइड इफेक्ट भी उनके हेल्थ पर हो रहे हैं तो उसका हम लोगों ने ध्यान देना चाहिए ऐसी बहुत सी चीजें वाटर पोल्यूशन के बारे में आजकल जो रिवर है वो रिवर की थ्रो कैसे पोल्यूशन बढ़ रहा है सोशल एंड कल्चर फॉर पोल्यूशन बायोलॉजिकल फिजिकल जो इन्वायरमेंट में चेंजेस हो रहे इसके बारे में बहुत अच्छे से मैडम ने आज लेक्चर में हमको बताए थैंक यू वेरी मच रिस्पेक्टेड वर्षा मैम थैंक यू वेरी मच राफे सर थैंक यू वेरी मच गौरव सर एंड माय ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट्स फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सरोज मैडम फॉर इंट्रोडक्शन एज वेल एज वोट ऑफ थैंक्स थैंक यू सो मच सो आई एम लिविंग बाय बाय ओके बाय मैम